I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on trigonometric functions and we have combined them with absolute functions. You need to solve this equation which is absolute value of cos x equals to cos x plus 1. You can pause the video, answer the question and look into my suggestions, right? Let's look into what cos x absolute value could be. That could be either cos x or minus cos x, right? Both are possible. So we can actually solve this equation for cos x equals to cos x plus 1 and minus cos x equals to cos x plus 1. So let's solve these two equations and then we can find our solution, right? Okay, so the one on the left will bring cos x this time. So we get cos x minus cos x equals to 1, 0 equals to 1. Well, that is not possible. So there is no solution for this part. On the other hand, if I bring this on the left side, we have minus cos x minus cos x equals to 1 minus 2 cos x equals to 1 cos x equals to minus half, right? So cos x equals to minus half is possible. Now, what are the possible solutions? So let's look into the coordinate plane. Cos is negative in quadrant 2 and 3, right? So, so it could be half either in this plane or in, in this quadrant, right? It's quadrant 2 or in quadrant 3. You know the rule, right? So the rule is Okay, so cos is negative in these two. So let us figure out the acute angle alpha for cos equals to half, right? Or you could also use the special triangles. Let me use the special triangles. So the special triangle, which is, we have these sides, correct? Where that angle is 30 degrees, correct? For 30 degrees, this is a special triangle. Uh, 30 and 60 and 90. So cos of 60 is half. So alpha, so we could say, uh, we can see from here that acute angle, cos of alpha equals to half gives you the angle alpha as 60 degrees, right? So therefore, these two possible solutions could be 180 minus 60 and 180 plus 60, right? So we can write x as equals to 180 plus 60 degrees and 180 minus 60 degrees, right? So we have two possible solutions. First one, we could write this as 120 degrees. The other one as 240 degrees, correct? Okay? So we have two solutions to this equation. So we can write down the answer, which is x equals to 120 degrees and 240 degrees, right? So let us say uh, we have x between 0 to 360 degrees, right? Let me just add that condition. If there is a general solution required, we could also write this as a general solution. I hope these steps are clear and you understand now how to solve trigonometric equations which are combined with absolute functions. I'm Adil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thanks for watching.